Hey folks, this is Mike from Techaholica and today I want to bring to you a guide on how to install your Blue Snowball microphone. Um, as you can see here on my device manager, I do have it installed. Uh, I had the same issue a lot of people were having when they installed this on Windows 7, 8, 8.1. I'm actually on Windows 8.1 and when you install it, what happens is it looks like it installs. You get the little uh, Windows prompt coming up like something is happening. But when you go into your recording devices, you don't actually see it. Um, and so a lot of people are stuck on what to, on what to do next. Uh, I found out that really it's a very simple fix. Um, I wrote a little uh, blog post about it, but it, it's really simple. Basically, before you plug in your mic your microphone, uh, if you haven't if you haven't if you already plugged it in, it's not a big deal. But you, before you plug it in, go into your device manager. If you don't know how to get there, you just go to you know if you're on Windows 8. You can just start typing device manager from the screen there. I think you can do the same thing in Windows 7 as well. Um, so you want to get into your device manager. You want to come in here and see if there are any, any uh, icons with an exclamation point next to it. That means that something wrong happened when it installed. It didn't install correctly. And the reason you, why you want to look out ahead of time before you plug the mic in is that once you plug the mic in, it may not say, you know, um, Blue Snowball microphone, it'll have some generic name on it. So if you have more than one device that wasn't installed correctly, you're not sure which one is actually the microphone, right? So that's the only reason why you want to come in here ahead of time. But once you plug in your microphone, come into your device manager and you'll probably see it somewhere in here with an exclamation point next to it. Now what you want to do is go over to CNET. I'll put a link in the description of the video and also it's on my blog post too. But you'll come over here and you want to download this, these uh, uh, drivers, right? The ASIO4 all drivers. I'm not quite sure what this even does. Uh, here it, it tells you the uh, descriptions for audio devices and whatnot. Um, I saw other people were using it and it worked fine for them. Uh, I, I installed it and it worked immediately, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to download this. It's going to be executable. You run it, install it to wherever it wants to. Once it installs, go into your device manager. Click on your broken microphone install. It'll have the, you know, the exclamation point next to it. Right click and say uninstall. Once it uninstalls, now you unplug the microphone and plug it back in. And now when it installs, you'll see it actually show up here under your sound, video, and game controllers. And it'll also show up here under your, your uh, recording devices. You know, once it shows up, make sure you right click on it and say, uh, you want to say set default device, set default communication device. And after that, you're all set, man. So um, this is a great microphone. I actually want to do another video where I compare this microphone to other microphones and show you how good the quality is compared to other stuff. Um, but I figured this would be a good way to start off is, this, you know, just getting you, in, you know, started off with the microphone on how to install it. So I know that I saw a ton of people posting all over the place and that issues with it. So hopefully this helps. Uh, if this helped you, let me know. Uh, don't forget to like my videos and uh, check out my blog posts. I'll see you guys next time.